Yeah, you take this end of the rope here and you, uh, yeah, you loop it around this way. Okay, here, I'll pull this end. No, 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 it slips. Yeah. I, I guess this end of the rope should go around here. Then. No. I think the loop's too big. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Does anybody out there know how to tie a hangman's noose? I mean, for real? <laughs> Hey, will you shut up that crazy music? It's late. Cut that racket. People want to sleep. Yeah. I'm turning it off. You have no regard for people's feelings. How about concern for my feelings? I wanted some music, the kind I dig to remember on... On my trip. Your trip on a merry-go-round going nowhere? I'm tired of your pose. It's no pose, I tell you. I mean, I've had it. I'm just too beat to go on living. So you're going to hang yourself. A real rope and all. And an audience of one. Want me to kick the chair out from under you? Aren't you even human? Have I married a monster? Did you ever think maybe I've had it, too? What did I ask for? A hand in friendship. A voice saying, I understand. The world's a jungle for us both. Survive or die, that's the human condition. Then, goodbye. What, what, what happened? What happened? The rope didn't what? hold the knot open. It but, opened. But, but, but how? You how? couldn't even tie the rope, right? Oh, my darling, I love you. I love you. Then I love you. Oh, I love you. I'd, I'd rather live with you than... Die alone. Then why don't we try it? Really try. I mean, really try. All the way. I want to. So do I. How about some of that music? Well, what about the neighbors? Oh, to heck with the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how'd we do, huh? Yeah. Sensational, kiddies, absolutely. Oh, we had a good house. Good. Capacity standees. They all loved you. Oh, go on. You say that every night. It's been true every night since we opened six months ago. You got no complaints. Now, I've got a complaint about that rope tonight. Hmm? There was a delay before the knot opened. You make sure that doesn't happen again. Paul's eyes practically popped when he fell, poor darling. Well, I can't line it with cotton wool. A rope is a rope. It's supposed to look like a rope. Well, I thought it would never open tonight. Well, but it opened, didn't it? Well, all it needs is for it not to open, just once. I guarantee you that'll never happen. I test it personally before every performance, so set your mind at rest. Yes, but tell that to his neck. Well, you think it's fun getting hanged every night? Practically hanged. No, but think of what it's doing for your career. Well, yeah, off-Broadway theater, 200 seat out. You had three flops in a row, darling, and it didn't do a thing for you. You've got a hit off-Broadway, and you're back in stride. So don't knock it, Paul. Uh, Any time you get tired of getting hanged, Paul, I'll be glad to pinch hit. It's what I'm here for, remember? Well, thanks, Carl. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, you watch the performance tonight? Oh, of course. I watch it every night from the wings. And how was my performance? Well, how can I say at the epitome of artistry? Sheer magnificence. Uh, a privilege to watch you. Well, that coming from one's understudy is praise indeed. You doubt me? I tell you, your performance is an electrifying experience. It's a, it's a oneness with a true creative spirit. Oh, no. Your acting on the stage is ecstatic. It's, it, it's beatific. Well, your acting off stage isn't bad either. Oh, I'm sincere. Believe me. Believe me. Uh, I, I believe you. Only simmer down, boy. You'll last long. Oh, what does it matter how long a man lives as long as he realizes the true essence of life? To be on the stage, to be acting, that is being truly alive. Oh, no. no. Oh, what I wouldn't give to play the part. I mean it. Just once. Uh, you're getting on that kick again. Just once, Paul. Give me that chance. You've never missed a single performance, not one. Now, now look, what's the harm if the star comes down with laryngitis or sprains an ankle or something? I guess I'm the hale and hearty type, Carl. Now, don't laugh at me. See, I can't stand to be laughed at. I'm older than you. I was in three flops in a row. And you know what that means in show business. You're dead. You lie down and you let them bury you. Only they didn't bury me. 
I came back to life with this show, and as long as I'm alive, I'm staying with it. But at least you're an actor. You've always acted. Oh, Me, no. I'm an understudy. You have any idea what it feels like standing there in the wings night after night, hoping and praying for the chance that never comes? Well, of course, <laughs> knowing that I could be... Well, yes, yes, a star, if I had that chance. Yeah, a star, huh? No, no long years of training, learning the craft, struggling, just... Just one performance and, and zoom, you're there. Yes, yes. No, oh, that's fine if you can get it. Yeah, if you feel that way, you... Well, why did you bother to understudy in the first place? Uh, I, I needed a job. Yeah, and so did I. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Paul. I, I, I didn't mean to get carried away. If anything happens to keep me from going on, believe me, I'll be rooting for you. But as long as I can go on, I will go on. Now, excuse me, will you? I... I want to get out of this makeup. Oh, sure, sure. Good night, Carl. Uh, good night, Paul. I couldn't help hearing, Paul. Oh, boy. He's eager to be an actor, that's all. <laughs> you can't blame him, I suppose. No, but there's more. Almost an obsession. His eyes, when he talks about it, they're yeah. wild. They almost say he's hopped up or something. They're real kook. Those kind can be dangerous. Oh, maybe to themselves. I think you exaggerate. He's just young, that's all, an amateur who's stage struck. Mm. Now, look, you get out of your stage dudge and I'll take you to supper. <laughs> the normal life of theater people, <laughs> supper at midnight. <laughs> Listen, if we were normal, would we be in theater in the first place? Hold it, kiddies, don't leave. Huh? What now? We got a surprise tonight. You're all invited to a party. The whole cast, that is. Oh, who's giving a party? The producer himself, Mr. Wendell, that's who. Uh, you mean another backstage pep talk with sandwiches and coffee brought in? No, not backstage. Oh, you mean at his apartment? Okay. I've always wanted to see his place. They say it's stacked to the rafters with art. He's a collector. No, it's at the espresso shop on the corner. He wanted it to be convenient. He didn't want to take you out of your way. Uh, well, isn't that considerate of him? <laughs> oh, that's the way it is. Uptown, it's cocktails at the green room, and uh, here it's coffee at the espresso shop. <laughs> Oh, can you bring me a cup of ordinary coffee? Man, this is an espresso place. You want ordinary coffee, try the luncheonette down the block. Oh, that's what I like about this neighborhood. Nobody has inhibitions, not even waiters. Uh, I'll have ordinary coffee with cream and sugar, please. Okay. I'll see if I got it. I got not, kiddies. Well, backstage, we at least got sandwiches and coffee. Here, we're still waiting for the coffee. Yeah, believe me, when you hear the news, the coffee will be like champagne. Well, that should be an interesting experience. Let's hear the news. Well, you think I want to steal Mr. Wendell's thunder? The announcement will come from him. Uh-oh. An announcement? And by the producer himself, it must be important. Shh, shh. Mr. Wendell's getting to his feet. With his weight, that takes a bit of two. <laughs> Quiet, everybody, please. Quiet. Mr. Wendell has a word to say. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, you all look like you're waiting for a miracle. Well, let me see if it is a miracle you people made it happen. I, I don't have to tell you about the show. You've been living with it for half a year. Of course, I've been living with it for a lot longer. I first read the script over a year ago, and I said to myself, I'm going to produce this show. I had faith. Faith it would make him money. Yeah. Of course, what with costs and all, it wasn't easy raising the money. That, that took a lot of doing. Sure, you had to write a check. <laughs> and uh, when we opened, you all agreed to work for scale to keep the show running. Well, I don't have to tell you, we've been sold out every night. I guess you know that as well as me. His bank book knows it back. You, uh, <clears throat> you've all been troopers, boys and girls, and it's paid off. We've made it. Six months downtown. Who knows how long uptown? Well, uptown? Uptown, Broadway. Yes, from Bleecker Street to 46th Street. From a 200-seat house to a theater seat in 1,500. Now, geographically, only a couple of miles. But a mighty long journey. Congratulations, Paul. Congratulations, Ellen. Thank you, Carl. I mean, it, it, it's the break you deserve. Oh, it's a break for you, too, boy. Oh, I don't know. I never played the part downtown. All it means is that I'll never play it uptown. Oh, uh, who knows, Carl? Remember what you said? Laryngitis, a sprained ankle? They can happen. One lives in hope, huh? Well, that's the idea. Uh, hold it, boys and girls. Wait a minute. Hold it. There's more. Well, what more can there be? Uh, just this. Uptown, we're going to have a fuller schedule. 
Special matinee and Sunday performances. Oh, you mean we'll be doing a dozen performances a week? No, no. As a matter of fact, you'll be able to breathe easier. Huh? Because we're going to have two sets of leads. That means Paul and Ellen will be doing the evening performances only, and the others will handle the matinees and Sundays. Of course, you'll get top billing. Now, what do you say to that? Well, I, I say great. Paul, Paul, did you hear that? What? There'll be two leads, too. That means I'll be playing the part, too. Oh, how can I ever thank you for all you've done? For all I've done? Why, don't you think you ought to talk to the producer, find out if oh, he's... Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, Mr. Wendell, I don't know how to thank you for this opportunity, except to say you'll never regret it. You'll be proud of me. You'll all be proud of me. What are you talking about? Well, my, my playing the part, I mean, uptown, on Broadway. You said anything about... Two you. sets of leads, you said. Well, who has a better right to play it but I? I've watched it night after night. I've studied it. I, I... Oh, my arm, will you? You're hurting me. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me. I'm sorry. It's, it's just that this means so much to me. You, you don't know how much. Uh, sure, sure. Well, well, we'll see. It's a big thing from understudy to lead. You, what? You have to understand, of course, taking the show uptown is a big risk financially. We've got to pack them in every night or we close. We need names on Broadway. But I'll be a name, I tell you. Just one performance and I'll be a name. It's bound to happen. It must happen. Well, I, I can't make any promises, but I'll think about it, okay? I, I'll keep it in mind. Oh, thank you. I'll give a performance you'll remember. You'll all remember. Oh, I need air. I feel confined here. My, my spirit is soaring. I have to walk through the streets. Exult! How, how did we ever get hooked up with him? <coughs> Star part. <laughs> it's a good thing we're closing soon or I'd bounce him right now. He gives me the willies. Shh, he, he, he might hear you. Well, didn't he leave? I thought he left. Well, he has now, but he was standing at the door. Well, I don't care if he heard or not. I, I don't want him in my show. <laughs> Stage, keep me company. How come you're in so early? Performance is still three hours away. Might as well be a thousand hours. I just stand in the wings anyway, just go through the motions. <laughs> Shadow boxing. Well, what about this uptown business? Aren't you playing the lead? Now don't laugh at me. I can't stand to be laughed at. I know I'm not getting the part. I overheard Mr. Wendell the way he feels about me. I, I'm through. Well, the show must go on, Carl. If it is now, it'll be another time for you. It was a real part, the kind actors give their eye teeth to have. The kind that comes along once in a lifetime. Well, even if that's so, what can you do? It's the breaks. You have to take what you can get in life. Yeah, that's right. You have to take what you can get. Uh, you uh, come in this early all the time? Sure, I have to set up the scene. And this is the most important part of it. You mean this? The rope? Yeah. Hey, don't touch. You'll spoil my rope trick. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how do you do it? What are you trying to do? A buck for my job? <laughs> it takes talent to tie a rope this way. Oh, yeah? Well, the whole secret is here, right here. If I tie it this way, it holds. Really would hang the joker. Oh. But now, watch this way. It looks solid, but even a light pressure, there, it opens. Oh. That's the whole deal. But you got to know how. Oh, yeah, yeah. That uh, that takes talent, all right. Well, everything's set up for the night. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm thirsty. How about going to Nick's bar? I'll buy you a drink. Oh, sure. Thanks. Uh, but you go ahead and set it up for me. I'll be along in a few minutes. Okay. I, I want to stand here a minute, sort of uh, store up memories for the might have been. All right, but don't be long. I'll see you at Nick. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Hello? Hello, invisible audience. Audience I never played to. Hello? What am I thinking of? I must be mad to think of it. But if it succeeds, then what am I waiting for? It's my chance, my only chance. It's my last chance. If I don't, I'm, I'm through. I'm through. So what am I waiting for? Thus, conscience doth make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly to all with a pale cast of thought. 
and enterprises of great pitch and moment with these regards their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Oh, oh Lord. Now I'm Hamlet. Oh, move. Move, you fool. You'll never get another chance. The show closes tomorrow. Paul plays tonight. It will be his last night. What about Paul? He's treated me decently. No, he hasn't. He's only pretended to inside. He was laughing at me. He was laughing at me. They were all laughing at me. I'll show them. I'll show them all. I'll show them what an actor can do. Yes, the show must go on. Paul plays tonight, but tomorrow night the show will go on with me. To snatch victory out of defeat, yes. You have to take what you get out of life. Yeah, the rope, the knot. How did he tie it? This way? Yes, this way. It holds. It holds. Get out of here, you fool. It's done. It's done. No regrets. What do you want? A life in the shadows or stardom? Go now. Go. Hey, Carl. I thought you were never coming. You've been running. Look all winded. Have your drink. It's been waiting for you. Yes. My drink. another round, will you? I mean, for my friend and me? No, okay. not for me. I had my limit. I have uh, to work tonight, and so do you. It's 7.30 already. You coming back to the theater? Oh, uh, listen, the kind of work I do there, I can do here as well. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. You're still supposed to be backstage. You know that. Ah, the show closes tomorrow night anyway, so what's the difference at this point? No, I suppose so. As long as I know where you are. I'll be here. Hey, Nick. How about setting up a drink, huh? Coming right up. Thanks. Uh, what time is it now, huh? Uh, 8.30. Oh, how about that? Curtain going up. Going up without me. Going up without me for six months, but not anymore. No, sir, not anymore. No, I hear the show is closing tomorrow night. Yeah, that's right. You see, Paul plays the part his way. Look, he's pretty good. I mean, make no mistake about that, but I'd play it differently. You know, in the, in the closing scene, the hanging scene? Well, I, I haven't seen the play. Oh, you haven't, huh? Well, how about that? Well, in this closing scene, see, the uh, the hanging scene. Yeah. Yeah, he plays it for sympathy, see, but in kind of broad strokes. Now, what I would do, I would stress the irony, you know? Uh. A guy who's ready to hang himself, himself, see, but still he shows his contempt for the dame, even though he's in love with her. That's, that's more subtle. You know, it sounds like you've given a lot of thought. Oh, I've had time. I've had time to give it thought, but the time comes when you have to stop thinking and act. Uh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, well, uh, good luck to you. Yeah, thanks. I mean, a man has to make his own luck. Carl, Carl, I'm glad you're still here. Huh? Well, where did you think I'd... Hold on, boy. Now, hold on. Grace yourself. What? What do you... It's come. Your chance to play the part. You're on in ten minutes. Now, the curtain's ready to go up. What are you talking about? Paul didn't show for tonight's performance. He called just a minute ago to say he's got a case of laryngitis. Uh... No kidding, he can't go on tonight. What do you mean, he, he can't go on tonight? He he, he, he must go on tonight. Uh, tomorrow. I'll play it tomorrow night. Have you lost your mind or something? Who's talking about tomorrow night? It's tonight you have to go on. I can't. I can't. Look. Look. You've been tearing your guts out for a chance to play the part. I know. A once-in-a-lifetime chance, you say. Now what are you doing? What are you doing? You throwing it away? No, I, I can't. You realize if you blow this one, if you blow it, you're through. Not just here, but in any play, on any stage, as an actor. The show must go on, Carl. Yeah. Yeah, if I... If I don't play it, I'm, I'm through as an actor. And life would have no meaning. Come on. It's time to make the curtain. Come on. What does it matter how long a man lives, huh? Just as long as he realizes the essence of life. What? What? Come on, we don't have much time. We'll give a performance. A performance they'll remember. Oh, they'll remember. Let's go, Carl. The show must go on. Yes, the show must go on. 
Let's go. 